lost the first game in January by three points. Armstrong had six points in that game total. He's got six already tonight, and he's on the bench at this moment. Glenn Holloway, a sophomore out of the state of Georgia, has checked in wearing number 20 to take his spot. There is Holloway defended by Griffin. Butler hemmed in, and this is out of bounds to Alabama State with seven to shoot. Have to get this in side very quickly here. These teams have opened 12 out of 16 from the floor. Waters pinned any travel. Yep. Yeah. Changed his pivot foot. For a minute there, he thought he was on TNT. <laughs> the extendo yes. travel call. One miss. For Texas Southern, it was a Malcolm Riley two-point field goal. A drive and kick game in full force for Texas Southern and two for Thomas. Every starter has scored for Texas Southern. And you know you're riding well when your leading scorer is the last guy to score. Oh, my goodness, Terrence LaFleur bags a jumper. That breaks the 11-0 run. And Thomas, 14 points a game. Last guy on the scorebook. Nice pass across the way and a miss for Coleman. The floor in a hurry off the pull up. Well, you said it. Both coaches were a little bit worried about the adrenaline pumping. Yeah, you miss a shot that badly, that means it's a poor choice. Thomas Griffin got a mid on it couldn't collect it That's an offensive foul going against Torlock Thomas We remind you Saturday 630 Eastern on ESPN the rematch Craig Robinson It's the biggest rivalry in college basketball Especially to folks in Carolina, UNC and Duke and Cameron indoors. Saturday primetime presented by DirecTV, also streaming live on Watch ESPN and the ESPN app. This is meeting number 242 all time. Duke playing with house money. Careful for legs sticking out. <laughs> Another drive and dish. And a wide open look. Mercy. Jose Rodriguez that time, a 38% three point shooter. Very good ball movement and execution by Texas Southern. Open looks everywhere. This time, Bobby Brown the miss. And an offensive board for Holloway. So Will Rogers of jump shots. They never met one they didn't like yeah. tonight. You, if you're Alabama State, you do not want to get suckered into making this a three-point shooting contest. Lob and Griffin was detained on his way to the rim. That's a second on Torlock Thomas. That foul was premeditated. They were thinking, we're not getting a highlight film dunk on us here. We've already seen the one lob to the rim. And another! Oh my goodness, Orlando Coleman! And a technical foul called on the ensuing action. A little join coming down the court. It, and it's it's too bad here because this is a fantastic play. And <laughs> Orlando Coleman pointing to the camera. He was not pointing to another player. I watched this. He was pointing to the camera. And this is one of those times where we're the reason why this poor kid got a technical foul because we're here, we're ESPN, we're here. Now Mike Davis is going to have a chat with Orlando Coleman. So what do you say to a player is the question. What do you say to him after that? Well, I know what Mike Davis is going to say. He's going to say, nice dunk, don't point at the camera. But really nice dunk. Right, he'll end with that. <laughs> <laughs> wanna, you want to accentuate the positive. Uh -huh. 
Because that's a, that's a tech you'll take at home, especially at home in a game where you're trying to clinch the playoff, you clinch the regular season championship. That's an offensive foul going against Corbin Butler, who made minimal contact, but he did extend the arm. I thought you were going to break out into song with the accentuate the positive there. <laughs> Second foul against Butler. So two on Butler, two on Thomas. And still no fouls on Texas Southern. It should be noted that Texas Southern is third in the nation in least fouls committed. They've only allowed 382 free throws all year in 27 games. Three seconds called against Griffin. So we, we have, in a matter of a minute and a half, a technical for pointing at the camera and a three-second call. Southern, the one seed in the conference tournament, guaranteed at least a share of the conference championship. Offensive rebound, Waters on the kick and an offensive foul. Waters with his foray into the lane, a little strong. And Jason, as high octane as this game is, Texas Southern is a very disciplined team. And, you know, as it's just amazing to me that they can get as few fouls as they get in this kind of conference, which is a guards conference, a lot of driving, a lot of drive and kick. Open man right there. Coleman gave up the three. Six fouls to none at this point, and two against Jamel Waters. That's a travel on Carey. But two on Waters, we talked about him in the open. He's the key scorer for them, and he's going to have to take a seat for a while. Well, having both Waters and Armstrong on the bench does not bode well for the Hornets. They have won four in a row with two games remaining, both home games next weekend. Ball dropped out of bounds. And a turnover. Steve Rogers was in the corner. You see Waters. On the bench, Jamel Waters, second in the conference in three-point shooting, third in steals, and a top 15 scorer at the school all time. Having to watch. And the Hornets go into a 2-3 zone. Rodriguez, the dish. Three won't fall for Blanks. You know, it's interesting timing on the zone, but again, Texas Southern, as you said, is not a tremendous three-point shooting team. Off the bounce to Dozy Amili with the miss. That is a bullet for Griffin. Blanks to Griffin. David Blanks keeping his head up. As soon as he got that outlet pass, he was waiting for Griffin to get down underneath the basket. You gotta love that pass yeah, as a coach. Like excellent. Recognition. No double on LaFleur for the moment. Rodriguez backs off of him. LaFleur, wild. Not a near alley-oop. Yeah. Griffin wanted the reverse. Dump City in Houston right now, and that may continue. Blanks, block, and the bucket. We're just missing the trampolines, Craig Robinson. 